Hey guys, it is Monday, July 18th, the first day of the Booktubeathon. I am here at camp, have not read anything yet. It is like 8.30 in the morning and I'm getting ready to go down to the tennis court where I do tennis. Um, I gotta be there at nine and I was hoping to maybe read a few chapters or something in the morning, but I don't think that's going to happen. There's not enough light to read by in here. So I don't think I'm gonna be, do, be able to do the reading um, after sunset, maybe when I get back home. But, um, and I also was gonna listen to an audio book. I was listening to 1984 on audio and realized it wasn't downloaded on my phone and I get no reception here whatsoever, nothing. But I thought I'd show you my room see, so you can see where I am for this week. All right, here is my room. I'm whispering because there might be other people in this building and I don't wanna seem crazy, but Here's my bed. And then nobody's sleeping in these bunks here. And then my roommate sleeps over here. And we have our own separate bathroom, which is pretty nice. So that's where I am all week. And uh, I will try to check in later if I get any reading done. Guys, it is Monday evening. We just had a huge storm come through and we're all on lockdown in our lodges. The power is out. Kids are running around like lunatics inside the building. It's incredibly noisy out there. And I'm in my room reading. So I am reading Sea Witch by Virginia Cantra. It's about a Selkie. I am on page three. It's pretty good. Guys, it is Tuesday morning at eight something. I just had breakfast, heading down to tennis again. I was able to do a tiny bit of reading yesterday. We were on lockdown for four hours, I think, um, because all the power through the whole camp was out, and so we were all stuck in the lodges. So I did read about 30 pages of Common Sense, and I started uh, the other book, The Sea Witch, the one about the Selkie. I got about 10 pages into that, but it was really hard to read in here because there's I don't know, maybe a hundred girls in this lodge and they were all losing their ever loving minds because they were stuck inside and running up and down the hallways and being super loud. So it was kind of hard to read. Um, I kept getting distracted. And now I'm headed down to the tennis court and I'm gonna get there just in time when my kids show up for their lessons and I don't think I'm gonna have any time to read this morning. So we'll see what happens later this afternoon um, I thought I was able to download my audiobook when I was in this one special building that happens to have Wi-Fi. Um, it said it was downloaded, but then when I came back to my room and tried to listen to the book last night, it wouldn't work. So that stinks because I really could be knocking out quite a bit of 1984 at night, but that is not happening. Save the best Okay guys, it is day four at camp. I think I got to page 20 yesterday in the Selkie book I'm reading. Read no more of Common Sense. Still can't listen to my audiobook. But tomorrow is my last day. Um, I get to go home to my own bed and I'm super excited. And I think the Booktubeathon lasts through the weekend if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna try to read as much as I can over the weekend. I have never been so tired in my life. It's my last day at camp. I'm going home about two o'clock and I'm so excited. I'm gonna try to do a bunch of reading tonight when I get home because I'm gonna be too tired to do anything else. And a bunch of reading tomorrow and over the weekend and see how far I can get. And I'll update you guys soon, bye.